Hi, my name is Bauer. My partner is Morgan Katie, and I will be showing you how to move two containers into a loading bin using the LiftGate, ultrasonic sensor, and a loop. We found this challenge on Carnegie Mellon's EV3 programming website. This is from Chapter 7's Container Handling Challenge. To find it, scroll down to Program Flow, then Loops, and click on Challenge. Scroll to the bottom and choose the PDF to see the challenge. We added onto this challenge by using sound blocks, which we will also teach you how to do. To set up this challenge, you will need to tape down two loading zones 77 centimeters apart. The loading zones will be at least 30 centimeters wide. To open a new program, open LEGO Mindstorms and click File, New Project, Program, and Open. We recommend you close the content editor so you have more room to program. To first program this challenge, go to the orange flow control tab and select a loop. An infinity sign will be on the block. Click on the infinity sign and change it to count, which is near the end of all the options. A 1 will appear on the loop. Change it to 2, because then the program will repeat 2 times over. Next, you need to go to the green action menu and select the move steering block. Place this inside the loop. Click on the On for Rotations button and change it to On so that it can move forward forever. Then go to the orange flow control menu and select the weight block. Click on the clock and then select the ultrasonic sensor, compare, and distance in centimeters. Then change the compare type from 4 to 5 and change the threshold value from 50 to 3.5 centimeters. We did this because we want the ultrasonic sensor to sense the cuboid at 3.5 centimeters away. We found, this, we found that 3.5 centimeters worked best for the lift gate to accurately capture the cuboid. Next, go back to the green action tab and click on the move steering. Then attach it to the previous block and select the on for rotations and change it to off. This will stop the motor when the ultrasonic detects the cuboid at 3.5 centimeters away. Next, you'll need to program the lift gate to capture the cuboid. Click on the green action tab and select the medium motor. Change it to on for degrees. Then click on the speed and change the power to 15 and the number of the rotations to negative 135. A power 15 is slower but more accurate for capturing the cuboid. Negative rotations allow the lift gate to lower itself. Stay at the green action tab and select another medium motor. Click the on for rotations tab and choose off. We are doing this because we want the motor to turn off after it's captured the cuboid. After that, go to the orange flow control tab and select a weight block and keep it the way it is. Here's where we added our first sound in our program. You can do this by clicking on the green tab and select the sound block. On the top of the block there will be a blank white box. Click on it. There you'll find many categories such as animal sounds, communication, and more. Choose your preferred sound. We chose Bravo by clicking on Lego for sound files and going to communication. Now the robot will say Bravo once he has captured the cuboid. After that, select a large motor block. As you can see, there's a little white box on the top of the large motor block that says D. Click on the D and you'll see many letter options. Select motor B. Change the number of rotations to be equivalent to 180 degrees for your robot. For our robot, the equivalent is 1.862. This will be different for your robot since every robot is a little different. This block allows the robot to turn around so it is ready to drive to the opposite loading zone and drop off a keyboard. Stay at the green action tab and select the move steering block. Change it to the on for seconds option. Then change the clock inside the move steering block to 3.5 seconds. We discovered this amount of time worked perfectly for our robot to return to the opposite loading zone. This amount of time could be too short or long depending on your robot, your distance between your loading zones, and how far your robot can travel in one wheel rotation. We recommend it as a starting point, and you can adjust it depending on how far it takes your robot. We will now program, program the robot to release the cuboid in, a, in the loading zone so we can loop around and return for the second cuboid. In the green tab, choose the medium motor and change it to on for degrees. Change 360 degrees to 135 and the power to 15. This will allow your robot to make the lift gate go up in order to let go of the cuboid. Here you can add another sound. We chose to use fantastic. You can find this in communication. Select another medium motor block.
and click the on for rotation square to turn it off so that the lift gate stops. After that, select the move steering block in the green action tab menu and change the rotations to negative 0.4. This will cause your robot to back up negative 0.4 of a rotation so it does not bump the cuboid when it turns around. Go to the green action tab, click the large motor and change the rotations from 1 to whatever corresponds to a 180 degree turn for your robot. We chose 1.98 rotations based on the angle of the robot at that time. The robot will now turn around so it can capture the second cuboid. We added an elephant call sound block from the animal sound folder and a laughing one sound block from the expressions folder after the first cuboid is released. This program is in a loop and will now repeat. We added a goodbye sound block from the communications folder outside of the loop so when the program finishes two loops it'll say goodbye. The sound blocks are optional but it adds a little pizzazz. You've now finished the challenge. We hope you had fun doing this challenge. Thanks for watching. Next you'll see our EV3 robot Brady in action. Hi, my name is Var. My partners Morgan, Katie, and I will be showing you how to move two containers into a loading zone using the lift gate. <laughs> <laughs>